There are a lot of benefits that quantum computers can bring, and this might be in the field of medicine or energy. It might be helpful in the finance sector. So the spectrum where quantum computers can help us is actually really, really broad. My name is Dr. Celia Young, and I'm a technology associate for the Quantum Computing and Simulation Hub. As part of the user engagement team, we engage with everyone in the community. So it might be academics, industrialists, or investors. And they might be individuals who are um, working on providing technology. They might be system builders. They might be the end users. And essentially what we do is try to get them on board to uptake quantum computing and simulation as a technology, get them to buy in, advocate the technology responsibly. And we just want everyone to understand what the benefits of quantum computing are for us. We work on developing the quantum workforce and this itself is quite tricky. So whilst we do need the people who have the skills and the knowledge, we also want to ensure that the workforce for the quantum community in the UK is diverse and inclusive. So we try to include equality, diversity and inclusion in everything that we do, whether it be a panel meeting or if it's an event that we have, we try to be as diverse and as inclusive as we can possibly be. Quantum computers essentially are the next level of computers. It's really challenging because we can't actually see what's going on because it's on such a small scale. So the way I like to think about it is the same way that classical computers give you a zero or a one. Quantum computers have the ability to store a zero or one or anything in between at the same time. And this is what we call superposition. And this is where the processing power of a quantum computer really is in its element because it can do all of these things simultaneously until it's measured. They essentially have a greater processing power. So the technology at the moment is still in its infancy in that we have established that we can do X, Y and Z. However, it's the scaling of these technologies which will really bring the benefit to us as a society. So what we hope to do is to take modelling that might potentially take days or months and we can possibly do that in a number of minutes or hours and that would be really, really useful. We also need to ensure that we are advocating quantum computing and simulation and the rest of the quantum sector responsibly. So, for example, you don't want to say that it can cure cancer straight away. You want to make sure that everyone in the wider community is understanding that they know that it's not going to be in the very near future, but by continually investing in this technology, we'll probably reach something that's very, very helpful to us in the future. Part of what I do now is trying to encourage everyone in the wider community to think about quantum computing, how it can benefit their institution or their organisation, their company. And I'm hoping in 50 years time that everyone would have bought into some level and that there'll be a healthy, knowledgeable, skilled, inclusive, diverse workforce that helps us maintain the lead that we have in this quantum, this global quantum race.